your ability, your right to own guns. So we need to have a clear legal process. I would like to see a discussion and a mention of that. Nothing like that in here. But let's go to the one that we did not discuss yet, the last aspect of uh, Donald Trump's uh, Second Amendment rights statement. He talks about a national right to carry. He says the right of self-defense doesn't stop at the end of your driveway. That's why I have a concealed carry permit, why tens of millions of Americans do. That permit should be valid in all 50 states. And we understand that this has been a, an entrapment device in states like uh, Chris Christie's New Jersey. Not recognizing people who have a valid concealed carry uh, license. Uh, there was just recently a, a case about a man in North Carolina who traveled on business, construction business. He had a uh, gun. It was stowed away in his car. He had a concealed carry permit that was valid in North Carolina. But when they found it in New Jersey, they want to send him to jail for years. There was another case uh, last year about a fellow who was moving his household and his family was concerned about him. They called the police because they did not see him where they thought he was going to be. He was running very late. The police found him. They pulled him over. They wanted to look through his trunk. At the bottom of his trunk, underneath his possessions, his clothes and everything else, they found a firearm. He had a permit to uh, use that in his state. He had a concealed carry permit. It was stowed in his trunk under everything else while he was moving. Nevertheless, they were trying to put him away for 10 years. That kind of entrapment is horrific that we see that happens in many of the northeastern states. And so it's great that uh, Donald Trump is addressing that and the idea that people should not be banned from carrying guns on military bases and recruiting centers. That's certainly something that the uh, president could do by order. Nevertheless, we also need to be careful. He draws the analogy to a driver's license that works in every state. And uh, I agree. It ought to be recognized in every state. They should not be able to send somebody who is a law-abiding citizen, who is qualified in another state, and trap them and send them to jail. But we need to understand that even with driver's licenses, we now have this Real ID Act that is now going to, if, you, if your state doesn't comply with what Homeland Security wants to see happen in terms of Real ID, you're going to have to have a passport to fly. This is going to be coming up in just a few months for domestic flights. You can be an American citizen. You're going to have to have a passport to fly from one position to the other. And they have singled out, starting in 2016, residents of New York, Wisconsin, Louisiana, Minnesota, New Hampshire, and American Samoa. There you go. American Samoa. We're going to nail those people. I don't know why that is. But there's going to be possibly other states. It's just kind of their arbitrary list. You didn't go through and do it exactly the way they want to do. So now Homeland Security is going to require people in those uh, states to have a passport to fly domestically. Americans will need a passport to travel within their own country. So we have to be careful with a government that operates like this, that we don't allow something like a national right to carry to be a, a way for the government to set themselves up as the arbiters of who gets a carry permit. We don't want the federal government defining who gets a concealed carry permit. We don't want them taking over that process either. So there, some of these things are very good, and I understand uh, the reasons for them, but we need to have make sure that we have due process before they take away our guns if somebody accuses us of not being mentally competent. We need to make sure that the federal government is not going to have any role whatsoever in terms of concealed carry, that they're not going to pull this in in the back door. That's not being paranoid. We've seen this kind of thing happen over and over again from our government. Now, we're looking at the different candidates today. We've talked a lot about the ones who are at the top, those who are not professional politicians, those who have not been elected to office before. Donald Trump, Ben Carson, Carly Fiorina is another one. And of course, when Fox News reported uh, Trump's policy paper on the Second Amendment, they say, well, this is a radical departure from gun control. They point out that in the past, he has supported many of the aspects of gun control. So they're suspicious about him, but they're not suspicious about Carly Fiorina. No, Fox News loves her. She's their darling. I want to take a look at uh, some of the aspects of Carly Fiorina that we have not talked about. Of course, we talked about her connections with the CIA. That's her only real government experience is working with Michael Hayden of the CIA on dragnet surveillance on Americans. Uh, that ought to, you know, I would support a Carly for prison 
T-shirt, just like I would support a Hillary for prison T-shirt based on that basis. I don't know exactly what she did with him, but uh, certainly something we should look into and certainly not anything that qualifies her for the presidency or any kind of government uh, qualification that I would agree with. Before I get into the Carly Fiorina uh, video that I want you to see what she's had to say about Hillary Clinton, I just want to let you know that uh, Alex, Alex has extended the Money Bomb specials until midnight tonight. That's free shipping and big discounts on the products that we have there. We are really humbled and grateful for what you have done in supporting us. And as a thank you, we want to extend these specials. We have 30% off Super Male Vitality, 25% off Survival Shield X2, nascent iodine. That's our, uh, our iodine product, as well as uh, DNA Force, 25% off. 25% off Prostagard, as I mentioned earlier. 20% off Brain Force and Silver Bullet and 15% off of Deep Cleanse, Secret 12, and Oxy Powder. So we've extended those specials until midnight tonight as well as free shipping. And as I mentioned before, Christmas is only 95 days away. If you want to get a t-shirt or a belt buckle or something like that as a gift for yourself or others, it's a great time to do it while we have free shipping. Now, to Carly Fiorina, we've talked about Ben Carson and his comments about whether or not uh, a Muslim should be president. Uh, we've talked about Donald Trump and the uh, press attacking him because he didn't defend Obama. And we've talked about Donald Trump's latest policy statement on gun control. What about Carly Fiorina? Is she running merely on the fact that she is a woman? Of course, the things that we're supposed to be excited about with Carly Fiorina is that she's a woman and that she's been a CEO of Hewlett Packard. And of course... Uh, there are some big issues with her tenure there at Hewlett Packard. I've got a short commercial I want to play for you about that. But listen to what she had to say about Hillary Clinton being a great candidate. This is why perhaps I have such great admiration and empathy for Hillary Clinton. I have great admiration for her because I know what it takes in some small measure to do what she has done. She is obviously incredibly intelligent, focused, tough, determined, empathetic of all the tens of millions of people that she was trying to represent in her quest to become the first woman president of the United States. And as a woman, I take great pride in the fact that Hillary Clinton ran for president. And I also watched with a lot of empathy as I saw how she was scrutinized, characterized, talked about as a woman. Well, I think yeah, let's women hold have that right there. Okay, so see, she has a lot of sympathy for it. Now, she, now, those of you who are not watching this, who are listening on the radio, she's saying that in front of a background of John McCain. And, uh, of course, she was trying to get the supporters of Hillary Clinton to support John McCain instead of Obama. So it's all about identity politics. But, of course, she's the antidote to Hillary Clinton running as a woman. But you should vote for Carly Fiorina simply because she's a woman. That's exactly the kind of thing that we saw when she was pushing her daughter's death from a drug overdose of alcohol and prescription drugs and talking Alex about marijuana. Stay with us. We'll be back tomorrow at 11 Central.